All right, in this video, let's go ahead and learn about the update command. The update command allows us to update a column or multiple columns based on our where clause. And also you could update every single row if you don't provide a where clause. But usually providing the where clause is more sensible because you have control of what you're actually updating. So let's say that we want to update this person right here, so Omar. So we want to update his email from null to an actual email. So the way that we do that is as follows. So we have to use the update command and then we have to specify the actual table. And now we have to say set. So this set allows us to pass an array of columns, including the new values. So right here, we could say email equals to and then this would be the actual new value. So I could say Omar and then at gmail.com. If I was about to press semicolon and then execute this command, this would behave the same way that I've showed you with the delete command. So this would actually update every single row in our column with this email, which we technically don't want. So it's always best to use the where clause. So I'm going to say where, and right here you can pass your condition. And my condition is where the ID, so the row identifier equals to 2011. If I press enter, you can see that we have one row which was updated. Now, if I do a select and then start from and then person, where and an ID equals 2011 semicolon. And you can see that now we did update the actual email. So let me update one more time so you can see what we're doing. So let's say that this time is up mail. So up mail, enter. And you can see that this now was updated from Gmail to up mail. So we could also update multiple columns. Now let's go ahead and simply update his first name and last name. So we could go ahead and say update and then person set. And then this is the actual array of columns. So now we could say first name equals to, and then let's simply say Omar with one M. And then if you want to update a second or third or more columns, you simply add a comma followed by the next column. So right here, let's go ahead and say last and then name equals to, and then let's simply say Montana. So Omar Montana, and you could also update the email. So let's go ahead and add a comma and then email equals to, and then Omar dot Montana at and then upmail dot com. And remember, so if we don't provide a where clause, we will update every single row with these updates, which in theory, it wouldn't work for the email because we already have a unique constraint. But this is so that you know, so now I want to say where and then ID equals to 2011. If I press enter, you can see that worked. Now I'm going to select Omar again. And you can see that now we have updated his first name, last name, as well as the actual email. And this is how you use the update command with Postgres. Just bear in mind that whenever you perform an update, delete, you always want to have a where clause because otherwise you might update or modify your entire table. This is all for now. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.